Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my 2024 Leamington Spa half marathon race plan. Now I am nowhere near as prepared for this race as I should be, but nonetheless we are still going to absolutely send the sub 90 minute goal. So at the time of posting this video we are exactly two weeks away from race day, so I thought this would be the perfect time to break down my entire race strategy and go through exactly how I intend to run this race. I'll put all the different sections of the video on the screen now and I'll even timestamp them below so you can jump ahead to the part of the video that interests you the most. And whilst I think about it, if you're new here, my name's Dan. I recently ran my first ever marathon in a time of 3 hours and 20 minutes and I documented the entire journey here on YouTube. I post videos every single week about running, life and all the things in between, so if that's something you're interested in, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button. But without further ado, let's dive into my 2024 half marathon race plan. Um... Our half marathon is on Sunday the 23rd of June and it starts at 8.30 in the morning, which does seem quite early for a race, but there's actually a pretty good reason for it. You see, in years past, the half marathon has always fallen on a super hot day with super clear blue skies, which as a runner, just makes us sweat our boobies off. Now I've actually looked at the predicted forecast for two weeks time and it's saying it's going to be overcast and about 18 degrees. So I'm going to be touching a lot of wood because I want it to stay like that for when we actually race. That's a weird sentence. <laughs> Moving on to race day goals now, and just like I did for my marathon, I've set myself an A goal, B goal and C goal to try and make the day as productive as possible. For anyone that doesn't know what these are, your A goal should be a target for if everything goes perfectly on race day, your B goal should be some sort of middle ground, and then your C goal should be something that's near on impossible to fail, so you always walk away with a positive race day experience. So starting with my A goal that you all should know by now, I want to run a sub 90 minute half marathon. That's one hour 30 minutes. The exact time I'm going to aim for on race day falls right around the one hour 29 minutes and 30 second mark, which will put me on for an average pace of six minutes 50 per mile or four minutes 14 per kilometer. My B goal is super short and sweet and it's simply I want to break my half marathon PB. Currently it stands at one hour 34 minutes and nine seconds and I set this all the way back in 2020 21 when the entire world was in lockdown. I'm pretty sure I ran something like a 135 when I ran my full marathon, so it's absolutely in there. I've just got to actually dig deep and get my muscle fibers to work in the right way. And then finally, my C goal is actually less about a particular time or stat and is more about how I actually run the race. For my C goal, I want to be in control of my body for the entire race. Obviously, you're going to be in control because it's your body. What I mean by this is I want to be in control of the points of the race where I absolutely send it as well as the points of the race where I take it slightly easier and pull my foot off the gas as I genuinely think this is going to help the entire strategy work better and I'll be able to fuel better and therefore finish the race feeling much stronger. Speaking of pacing, let's talk about it. So as we all know by now, the target time I'm aiming for is one hour, 29 minutes and 30 seconds with an average pace of six minutes 50 per mile or four minutes 14 per kilometer. Now in order to hit this time, I've broken my race down into three different sections or mini races to make it a little bit more manageable on race day. So the first section is going to consist of the first three miles of the race, which I aim to cover in around 21 minutes flat. So this obviously means running slightly slower than my target pace, right around seven minutes per mile. But the reason for this is going to become clear in a second. Section two of the race is going to be mile four through to 10, which is a total of seven miles, all of which I want to run bang on my target pace of six minutes 50 per mile. Now this second section should take me just under 48 minutes and bring my race time to around one hour, eight minutes and 50 seconds by the time I go through mile 10. 
10. Which then leaves us with section three, which is the final 5K of the race, where I'm going to use everything left in the tank and absolutely send it. Now my aim is to average six minutes 40 per mile for this final 5K, which should give me a 5K time of 20 minutes and 44 seconds. And if my math is correct, a final race time of one hour, 29 minutes and 34 seconds. I legitimately have no idea if this is the best strategy to run a half marathon, but it's the strategy which has worked on paper, so fingers crossed that translates to a positive race day experience in a couple of weeks time. Please pray for me. <laughs> oh, funny enough, I've actually got the uh, piece of paper right here. That's how I worked it out. Right there. That'll be worth millions in the future. Now in order to run a time as quick as this, my body is going to need constant fueling throughout the race. And the best way I know to do that is through gels. My race is going to consist of a four gel strategy, which when broken down is going to be one gel 20 minutes before the race, two gels during the race taken at 30 minute intervals, and then a spare gel in case I drop one or in case I'm absolutely bonking. Along with this, I'm also going to use the water stations dotted throughout the course, which hopefully will stop my body from becoming too dehydrated. Because as I've said countless times in this video, Leamington is traditionally quite warm, and the last thing I want to do is become a little bit fuzzy halfway through the race. And then other than eating loads of carbs in the build up to race day, I haven't really got anything else to tell you about my fueling plan, which means we've only got one section left. Race day kit is basically second nature now, and that's because I've tried so many different combinations throughout my weekend long runs. I found one that works, and I literally refuse to change it until it doesn't. So on my top half, I'm going to be wearing my trusty Nike Aeroswift vest, because I literally can't think of anything else I'd rather be wearing on a boiling hot day. Speaking of hot days, that means chafing. So my bottom half is going to be my Pure Sport half tights, which have quite literally eliminated every single chafing issue I have ever had. I have worn these for countless long runs now and they have never chafed and I didn't get a single bit of chafing when I wore them for my full marathon. For my shoes, I'm going to be racing in the Nike Alphafly 3s and then as a backup shoe, I'm also going to take my Vaporfly 3s just in case for whatever reason, something happens to these. Don't want to be at a running event without running shoes now, do ya? And then for accessories, it's going to be the Apple Watch Ultra Generation 1 to time and pace the race and then I'm also going to be wearing my delightful Oakley sunglasses to stop all those harmful UV rays destroying my retinas. I might just keep these on for the rest of the video now. The goal to run a sub 1 hour 30 minute half marathon has been a goal of mine ever since I started running. However, I never thought I'd be trying to do it at this age, like I genuinely thought it was going to take another couple of years. I also forgot to mention that I'm going to be taking my GoPro with me to the race and filming an entire race day video just like I did for the marathon. So if you don't want to miss out on seeing that when it's completed, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button right about now. And along with that, if you've enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like as it genuinely does mean the absolute world to me. Some of my videos have been going absolutely crazy with engagement recently, so I just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you that tunes in every single week. That does bring me to the end of today's video. I hope you all have a smashing day and I'll catch you all next Saturday at 6pm. No bad days!